So, so we actually have a 10.1 inch full HD touchscreen. It's 1920 by 1200, which would make it 16 by 10 or 8 by 5, which is what I would like to call it. Uh, but yeah, 10.1 10 inches Intel Atom X5 Z8300 processor, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and up to six hours of battery life, which is not great for a tablet. You also get an included stylus and sleeve, which there's a lot of value here for something that's only 100 bucks. I mean, I, I'm sure you remember that Amazon came out with, um, let's see if I can get this open. Amazon came out with a Fire tablet for fifty dollars. Uh, what was it last year? And people bought it because it's just—it's a fifty-dollar tablet. You don't it. You're not expecting it to be premium, but it can do things that that for for a relatively cheap device. You can watch movies on it. You can use it in the kitchen so, somewhere. You don't have to be too afraid that something's going to happen to it. This is a pretty nice sleeve, actually. Um, obviously the tablet goes in here, the pen goes up here. Let's keep going. And here's the tablet itself. All right, I, I went with blue. It comes in blue, pink, and silver. Remove this cover before use. Thanks for the tip, guys. Let's see, uh, press the power button for three to four seconds. How to change the size of app icons. Thanks for the Windows 10 tutorial. Oh, so there's the blue, right? It's kind of a light blue. It's it's a it's a fun blue, I, I would call it. All right, so we're gonna take this off. We're we're gonna we're gonna be rule followers here, and we're gonna we're gonna take this off. Um, feels pretty nice on, on first use. I don't know. A lot of lower end devices, you'll, you'll see, they don't have that oleophobic coating on it, so they might get fingerprints quickly. Let's see what else is in here. Remember to register your tablet. That will probably be a rule that I don't follow. And this, oh, okay. Wow, this comes out in pieces. Okay. USB cable is in here. It looked like micro USB, uh, which I find disappointing, although there's not much in the, the $100 range that you'll find with USB-C. Yeah, we got our uh, micro USB here. And this is another micro USB. But this is, I guess, um... An adapter power adapter which we know pretty much what to expect there it's going to be a USB type a power adapter I'm not even going to open that up because we, we all know what those look like we have a pen the pen I assume uses a battery which oh yeah there it is there's a battery that comes with it and um, it's quadruple a battery which is pretty standard for Windows pens all right so this thing has booted up and we can sign in here. I am Eastern Time. The thing looks pretty nice. Again, for a hundred dollar tablet, it's marked down from two forty nine, but there's no sign on there that that it's going to be temporary. And it's going through. Um, it's pretty snappy going through the setup screens. So here's an issue that we just ran into here. It's asking me who's going to use this PC rather than asking me to set up Wi-Fi, which um, I. I the only time I've ever seen Windows not ask me um, to set up Wi-Fi before sign-in stuff is if there's no Wi-Fi driver. So that that we might run into an issue there in a little bit. But I mean, the screen itself looks pretty nice. Um, the, the body's cool. I, I I think if I if I was just buying this for myself, I would want the silver one, just because um, while the blue is looks fun, and so does the pink. Uh, not really for me, but it looks fun, but it's, I think after a while I'd get tired of it and kind of just wish I had a, a basic silver option. So you can see that the, the aspect ratio is, it feels a little weird. It's, it's really long for a tablet because obviously you have an iPad that has a four by three aspect ratio and that's going to be wider and a surface will be two because that's three by two. So I, I like it for this, though, because I think with a, a $99 tablet, you're not using it for your major productivity tasks. You might be using it to watch a movie or something, which this is a perfect aspect ratio for watching movies. Um, you might be using it to take notes because it does have an included pen. Um, one issue, there's there's no uh, pins on here. There's, there isn't going to be a, a keyboard that you could attach to it. So you're using this as a tablet. There's also no, I mean, you'll probably get a folio case or something for it with a keyboard, but there's no kickstand, so you can't just stand it up and, and connect a Bluetooth. 
Good news, everybody. The Wi-Fi works. So I, I was just able to sign. I don't know why it didn't ask in the beginning, but the good news is that it works. Uh, ships with 14.393.479. So it's going to be a cumulative up update to install. And hopefully at some point the creator's update will show up. But uh, obviously we're just setting this up now. So um, I will install some Windows updates. All right, so I put the battery in the pen. And uh, we can see what just kind of what kind of lag it has it's not bad there's, there's not a lot of latency you don't really notice it um you can kind of see it if you just drag it around the pressure sensitivity of the pen is only uh 1024 which is not nearly um as close to the 4096 that we're seeing in a lot of the newer higher end pens but it's it's still pretty great um so take a quick look we got a volume rocker over here power button over here all right, uh, display out, uh, micro USB, headphone jack, micro SD, micro SD card slot, and we got some speakers over here. And um, that's about it. You can see the, the device. It's, uh, it's pretty thin. It's pretty light. It's pretty comfortable to hold. Um, it's, I think it's a really nice uh, option for, for $99. I'm not going to say you can't go wrong with it because... The Windows experience on a tablet is still questionable at best. All right, so we can just uh, stick this in our in our sleeve here. All right, that can go. Oh no, that's can go right in here. This is where it goes. And then we got a pen, goes right in here. And then I guess uh, we can stick accessories in here, such as um, a hammer in case I decide I hate it and I want to break it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an, again, it's a $99 tablet, so you can, you can use it in the, the kitchen for recipes. You don't have to worry about getting stuff on it. Um, again, you could use it for, for notes, which I was just taking notes with a pen on an iPad yesterday. There's quite a cheaper option to do that or just for watching movies. So there, there's obviously a lot of uses for something that, that's might not have the best performance, but could still be useful. And um, we're probably going to give it away when I'm, when I'm done reviewing it, which will be in a few weeks. And um, so what's better than $99? Free. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the review. And um, I'll get back to you soon. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.